marching their way onto it. herders Sunday 23 February 2020 first nice warm day here in the last couple days it's not been raining and since we're in the beginning of reproductive swarm season of course we got a call there you go there's a prime reproductive swarm it's a good one and of course it's right here at the junction of where three runs of fence come together. So this should be fun. We're gonna to get to herding these bees, get them in the box down here. And we'll get you some more video and let you see how things progress. Keep on keeping on. Y'all want a handful of bees? These bees can sting through these gloves. However, typically a swarm is not really that defensive. They don't have a point of defense. There's not really a lot to worry about. Unless I catch one, I for the queen.
spray them down with sugar water. Kind of keeps them occupied with cleaning themselves. One of the problems you run into in capturing swarms is queen is hard to find. She's normally kind of in the heart of the ball. If you don't get her soon enough, all the bees that you put down in your box are going to say, wait a minute, mama's not in here, and they're going to fly right back up here, and you're back to square one. We try to get her as soon as we can. Chain link fences are always challenging. You think it's going to be easy because it's low and it never is. I always find a way to get in the holes in the chain and wrap around the pole and all kinds of other crazy stuff. Just like with the removal. Unless you're really lucky, it always seems like the queen is one of the last bees you find. She's really smart. She's going to get away from all of the activity. And they're actually harder to pull apart than you would think when they festoon and lock all their legs together. tricky to pull them apart. technique give them a piece of brood cone to crawl off on smells familiar to them maybe that'll work them out of this tight spot in this fence
everybody else to them. So we've got the queen. Problem is I don't have her in a clip. This is a big swarm, y'all. It's always best if you can get the queen in a clip. And you know you'll keep them where you want them for a day or so, but that's okay. It's late enough in the day, I think these bees will stay here till after dark. And we'll slide over here and put an excluder type entrance on this hive. start building almost immediately. Queen can start laying eggs almost immediately. Be good. Okay, folks, we've got them herded up. Did not get the queen in a clip, um, which is not a huge deal. It's late enough in the day, and I think they've already accepted the box. She doesn't seem to want to come back out, so yeah, not many bees airborne anymore. Just a few left on the fence pole, and they'll all work their way down into the box with the rest of these shortly. They're fanning that Nazanoff pheromone, calling all the airborne bees home. They've accepted it. We've got about four or five frames of drawn comb, probably six frames of drawn comb in the box. Um, and then the rest of the frames are triple waxed plastic foundation frames. So they've got a ready-made hive ready to go. They seem to like it. We'll come back at dark. Um, we'll close these up, take them home. I'll put an excluder type entrance on the front of the hive. It's just a plastic queen excluder that I've cut to fit the front of the hive. And I'll keep it that way a couple of days. That way I know I keep the queen locked down in case she changes her mind. Eventually they won't have a choice but for this to be home. Um, and then we'll take that excluder off and let them go to work. So we're in good shape. It's Sunday, gotta go to church. Gotta give the good Lord the praise and worship he deserves.